This video will give you a basic understanding of how to set up a campaign. You will need to watch the other videos or read the articles pertaining to the campaign builder. For example, what is a campaign sequence to dive into the individual elements of the campaign builder. Let's get started. Go to Marketing and Campaign Builder in the Master Nav. Click on Add a Campaign. Enter a name for the campaign and click on Save. The name should represent the target audience for this campaign. Click on Objects in the Campaign Toolbar and drag them into place on the canvas to create a visual model of the campaign process. Traffic Sources These objects represent the places you advertise and promote your company. Most companies rely on multiple traffic sources, so it is not unusual to add three or more traffic source objects to the canvas. Goal. The next objects are generally goals that represent lead capture strategies, like free reports, webinars, etc. Most campaigns begin with a low resistance offer that will interest most leads, even if they're not ready to talk to you or buy yet. You may also have more than one goal that represents a lead capture strategy. Some traffic sources may advertise only one of the offer, for example, a pay-per-click advertisement. Others may display more than one offer, for example, a company website. Sequence. After someone signs up for one of your lead capture offers, then you will need to send follow-up messages that deliver the promised information and encourage the new contacts to take the next campaign goal. For example, sign up for a free consultation. Connect the campaign objects to define the paths from goal to goal. You can create multiple paths by joining sequences and goals to more than one object. An ideal campaign has, at minimum, a path for mildly interested leads, warm leads, hot leads, and customers. Each goal is assigned a default goal method. Click on the colored goal method icon for each goal to select a different goal method. The goal method is the Infusionsoft mechanism that indicates the goal has been achieved. If you choose a new goal method, click on it to apply the update. As an option, mark the Set as Entry Point option if it is okay for contacts to jump into the campaign at this point, even if they haven't been through any previous sequences. When you select this option, the entry point icon is added to the goal. Double click on each campaign object to customize it. You can work sequentially from left to right or customize sequences and then goals. Double click on each goal to customize the goal methods and mark them as ready. Double click on each sequence to create the sequence schedules and add custom content. Create the minimum required content for you to launch the campaign. You can continue to add sequences and improve the sequence content after the campaign is live. You will need to mark individual sequence objects, for example emails, and the completed sequences as ready before you publish this campaign. Click on Publish. Review and approve the ready items that have not yet been published. Click on Publish again to confirm approval. The published campaign is active and the sequence items that are marked as ready will be sent whenever a goal is satisfied. For example, a landing page form is submitted or a contact record is tagged. Click on the Live View tab to see the current published version of the campaign. As a side note, this view does not tell you which individual sequence pieces are ready. You must click into individual sequences to view the status of individual communication pieces.